I thought I'd upload a um, video just to explain how I install a mud floor in a shower pan. So normally I just use a uh, quickcrete sand topping mix. Uh, this works fine. I've used it for years and years and years. It's a uh, little richer uh, than it needs to be. Um, as far as I know, the mix in this uh, these bags is like a ratio of like three sand to one uh, cement uh, usually deck mud is four or five to uh, of uh, sand to uh, cement ratio but anyway this stuff works fine so when you're mixing mud you don't want to mix it too wet you want to have it uh, kind of damp you don't want it soaking wet so it flows you want it kind of uh, damp so that you can shape it uh, with uh, you know your tools and your, your trowel and your wooden float and stuff like that and uh, so I usually add like a gallon maybe a gallon and a half of water to like two bags of sand uh, topping mix and I mix it up and then I check it out and if I need a little more water I'll add a little more water but that's basically uh, how you do You get a tub, you get a hole, uh, you put your sand, your, your materials in, uh, and you go back and forth uh, with the hole. And then once you think you've got all mixed the right ratio, you pick it up, um, punch in your hand, and uh, see if it all stays together. And then before you put your, um, uh, start adding your mud to your shower pan, uh, you want to make sure that you get some gravel or some pea stones or something uh, around the drain so that uh, you don't block the weep holes uh, at the drain. That's very important with um, this system with this three-piece drain. So that's what I did here. I had all the, the, the pebbles around the drain there and then I'm actually packing some mud into that area on top of it so that uh, they don't move and they stay in place and I don't have to worry about kicking it out of place and uh, so you pack that in pretty good and uh, then I have a line around the perimeter of my Duroc there which is it's not a level line it's just uh, an indication of where more or less where the, um, uh, the height of the mud has to go because the mud in these shower pans needs to pitch uh, uh, of about one quarter inch per foot. It can be more, but it shouldn't be less. Uh, if you make it too 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 much more, it's going to be uncomfortable to stand on. So you want to keep it around uh, a quarter inch per foot. And the way I do it is I start off with some uh, piles. I make like a couple of piles, and I start usually in one corner, and I get that that uh, I press all the mud in and make a compact uh, pile of mud and and I get that to the level that I need it to be and so that I have my pitch uh, towards my drain. So I'm going to pack that down, I'm going to flatten it out, I'm going to uh, get it to exactly where it needs to be uh, so that I have uh, the height for my mud that's going to go all around the perimeter. And the way I usually do it, uh, I, ha I make the perimeter of the mud all level. So it's all at the same level and there's no up and downs, it's just level. And then from there, once you've got your perimeter in, then you can pitch down towards the drain. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just getting my, uh, my first uh, screed. Um, spot in place and at the level that I want. So I got it flattened out there. I'm going to check for uh, what the pitch is. Uh, and then uh, if it's too high, then I'm going to take a little down and just get it to the right height. And that's, that's how I do it. This is how it, other people might do it different ways, uh, but this is how I find that it works uh, well for me. And um, as, as you can see, the mud is not. 
uh, slumping, it's not flowing, it's just damp. Uh, you don't want it too dry, but you don't want it too wet. So, <coughs> uh, I'm getting this corner in to the level that I need it. I'm going to smooth it off. And then, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next uh, pile, which is in the middle there. And I'm going to uh, get that so it's exactly uh, level with my first pile. So I got this in here, I got it all exactly where I want it to be. Uh, straight, um, I'm flattening it out. And I'm moving over to my next pile here and I'm going to tamp that down, uh, pack it in, make sure it's nice and all packed in. And then I'm going to level across it. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. As you can see, you, know, you tap it down, uh, you take your time and you make sure that you're perfectly level across the two piles. I'm just changing my level here because the bubble on this level is a little bit easier um, to see. So I'm just going to go exactly right where I want it to be. Flattening it out. Check again. And you just keep on working on it until you um, get right. It doesn't take that long to get these couple of um, or screeds spots. So you just keep on working on it, pack it down, you know, check it back and forth. And then once you got it right, uh, you're just going to smooth it off with that finished trowel. And then I go over to the uh, to the next corner, and I, so I've got one because uh, this is this um, shower pan is about 47 inches, so I can't fit my um, four-inch uh, level in here because it's uh, just a little bit uh, smaller than uh, a four-foot uh, the four-foot level. So uh, if you can. Um, fit your four foot level and you can just do two do one in one corner one in the other corner and then you um, go in between and, uh, and and then you'll have you know two corners that are level and then you can pack the middle but when you don't when you can't go all the way across uh, I use my two foot level and I make three piles and so I'm getting that all even and then once you've got that exactly where you want it to be you got three piles now it's just a matter of fitting, filling the gaps in between and screeding across the two spots that you have there and you have a perfectly um, flat uh, and level line across the back and that's what I'm doing now I'm just uh, filling in between packing it down tamping it down make sure it's nice and compact and then I'm gonna once that's done I'm just gonna screed across uh, the both of them and that part will be done and that's what I'm doing now I'm just screening across the boat so I, so I get down to the level of the, um, the two piles that I made and when you're doing this you always you know go back and forth and check and the thing is when you start trowel this with a steel trowel and you pack it down uh, it gets to be pretty hard so when you're screening across with um, with your level, it, uh, it usually doesn't um, dig into those those two screeds that you made uh, at the beginning. Uh, if if the uh, sand mix is a little too dry, then it digs into it a little more. So uh, you know you just got to get your sand properly mixed uh, to the right consistency.
So that's it. So I got um, got this to where I want it to be. I'm just going to check it and make any adjustments that needs to be that may need to be done. And once I've done that, I'm going to fill in the other gap. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just filling in the other gap, cutting um, back the excess that I need because you don't have to come too far out because I'm going to be scraping down to the drain. So that's it. That's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to continue this whole process all the way around the perimeter so I get a completely level, flat um, perimeter of mud and that's going to give me the exact height I need to pitch down to the drain. So, so you just do this. It's going to take a while to do. Uh, there's no need to rush. Uh, once this is done, uh, it's going to be actually pretty quick to uh, fill in uh, the rest of it because you don't really need... because uh, this, this is going to establish your, your pitch towards the drain. And just keep working on it, smoothing it out, checking it, make sure it's flat, make sure it's uh, there's no dips in it. So there's my whole perimeter is done now. So now the next step is to um, fill in the rest towards the drain. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I've already got some mud packed around the drain uh, to... Um, to hold those that gravel in place that protect the leaf hole so that because if you don't put those that gravel around the drain what's going to happen is when you pack in your mud it's going to clog those weep holes and if those weep holes aren't functioning uh, then the water that gets into the pan uh, is not going to be able uh, to get out it's just going to stay in the pan so just pack it down in between from the now here I'm actually I'm I'm turning the drain down a little bit so that I can screep down uh, to the um, the drain and then once I got the, um, that all packed in I can turn the drain back up and bring the uh, to the level so that the, when I put the tile in the tile will be flush with the top of the drain. Uh, sometimes you can't turn the drain because you don't have enough, enough adjustment sometimes you can turn a little bit because you've got some adjustment uh, depending on what your situation is either you're going to be able to turn it or not uh, if you can't then you're just going to have to uh, work on your mud so that it comes to the right level at the drain the, the, the depth of the mud needs to be uh, below the, the top of the drain uh, which is going to be exactly the, the right height of uh, the tile that you're installing. Uh, so here I'm going to be installing a travertine 2x2 uh, two two tile which is about 3 eighths of an inch. So the top of the drain uh, is going to be uh, three, about 3 eighths of an inch higher than uh, the mud uh, at the drain. So that's just is what you do. You just uh, fill it in, uh, screed from the perimeter down to the drain, and that's going to give the pitch you need. You just want to make sure everything's nice and packed in, and you've got no voids, and uh, you just keep on doing this uh, until you've uh, filled in all uh, the base. And now there are tools you can use. There's, um, uh, there's, there's systems that you can buy, which, you, which you can, gives you a little screed, plastic screed from the perimeter to the drain, and then you just fill in between those, and, and uh, you know, they, they, that's going to give you a guide. Uh, I've never used them, uh, so I don't know if they work, how they work. I'm sure they work fine, uh, but I, I don't really see the need for them. So this is what you do. You just keep on filling in. You can fill in uh, more 
if you want. If you've got more mud ready mix, you can you know fill half at a time. Uh, I usually do half at a time. I don't pour, put the, all the mud in all at once because uh, uh, as you're screeding across it, you're gonna be taking some out. So once when you got got it where you need it to be, you start troweling off with a steel trowel and, and smoothing it out. And, you know, I use my level. I use a piece of uh, wood that's cut to the right length. Uh, I use my, my steel trowel. I use anything that I got available uh, to um, get me to. Uh, dig down that mud to the right um, right height uh, so this is you know so they're just going to keep on going around and filling this in and patting it down and screening it down Another shower pan. This one's uh, got a round, round train, but here I'm doing the same thing: uh, packing, screeding, packing, screeding, and uh, it's just the way I do it. Uh, other guys, like I said, might do it a different way, but uh, this is how I find uh, is the best way. And once you've got uh, everything screeded the way you want it, uh, you can, um, you know, you always got to check. Then you can turn the drain back up and uh, bring it to the height that it needs to be to accept the tile. Uh, sometimes, like I said, you can't do this. Sometimes it, you can't turn the drain. Uh, depends on what kind of pan you've got in there. Uh, I'm in New England here, and a lot of times uh, they have copper pans, and you can't uh, turn the drain, or there's only a few turns on it. So uh, in that case, what you do is what I'm doing here. I'm digging down around the drain, until I get the exact level that I need to be to um, so that when I install the tile, the top of the tile is going to be exactly even or just slightly above uh, the top of the uh, drain. And uh, so you just take your time and you try not to make any dips or bird baths. Uh, bird bath is when uh, it doesn't have a positive pitch down to the drain and uh, the drain in some areas could be slightly above uh, the pan in some areas so you, you, you always want to make sure that you've got a pitch that goes towards the drain and I use a piece of tile that I, that's going to be installed uh, on the um, on the shower floor uh, to gauge exactly where it has to be so you don't rush doing this, you just take your time, you dig, and then you check, and you, and you use your steel trowel to, uh, um, to smooth it out. Depending on the size of your shower floor and, and the depth of the mud, uh, one of these usually takes me between, I don't know, a couple of hours and, uh, you know, two or three hours to do, if it's a bigger uh, shell floor because sometimes you can get some quite large ones uh, it's going to take a lot longer because uh, mixing and then uh, you know bringing it up and putting it in uh, is going to take some time and uh, but uh, you know it's really not that hard to do once you've done a, done a few so anyway I got exactly where it needs to be and now I'm going to um, just trowel it off and uh, back to the other shower that I'm doing with the square drain here and uh, now I've got uh, here like here I'm checking as well where it needs to be but uh, basically that's what I'm doing here is um, just uh, making sure that it's at the level it needs to be and now I'm gonna use my steel trowel and just uh, trowel it off and uh, 
smooth it out, and then I'm going to be pretty much done with it. I've done hundreds of these, so um, this is the way I do it. I, I've tried a couple of different ways, and uh, this is the way I, I'm, I'm comfortable doing these, and it usually works out pretty good. Uh, you get a nice level perimeter, you get a good positive pitch towards the drain, and you get a nice smooth uh, surface, which is packed in nice and tight, and uh, I good base for your uh, shower time and you want to let this um, uh, set up at least overnight before you install your time. So uh, this is how I do it.